Alright, this is Mofo Sidat, and today we're going to be looking at July's Loot Crate. This is the first kind of Loot Crate they've done in that it is actually a sequel. And the sequel they started with is for Heroes. So this is the second hero theme Loot Crate. Now, when I uh, subscribed to this, I got it because it was the... The transform and then the villain crate. So this is the first time I gotten a full hero theme crate. So let's see how the second one fares. So, ooh, it's cool. It's like a apartment kind of style. This one, the biggest one, the Q Pop Batman 66 loot crate exclusive to statue statuette the from this year 2015 there's the justice league superman and the batman catwoman this is cool it's, uh, instructions to feel peel off the plastic from the word bubble then use the dry erase marker to write a message let's see it's a clam shell packaging And this is the ooh, the backing of it, the 1966 style. Let's see, really cool kid style. So if you take off the Kapow sticker and write your own messages on it, I think is really cool. It's a fun thing. It's not really anything you would use for everyday life, like messages for yourself but I think it'll it's really interesting how they're making this statue a bit more interactive I guess in a way. So let's try and get this back down without breaking anything. And it's not <laughs> Properly. There we go. So I think, while it's cool, I think it'd be better if it was also Batman from the Justice League style. Because that I like that episode a lot where uh, he, Superman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman returning to children. So I think in that vein, this is a good... Uh, statue to have, but yeah. and here we have a poster. Let's see what this is. Kind of first time this having square tubing. Oh, she can do it, and it's Wonder Woman. That's cool. This is from the DC Bombshells uh, line, I guess. But I think they made a statue based off of this artwork that's very interesting considering how she's going to appear in next year's... It's not, it's not a Man of Sequels. Not a sequel to that. It's more of a Justice League promo in Dawn of Justice. Oh, here's the Legend of Zelda armbands. Another Loot Crate exclusive from BioWorldMerch.com the official Nintendo license. This is a black material. I think it would have be interesting if it was in a green. Yeah, but this is cool. This is cool. It's only the one though. So I don't know. I would like if there was a pair in here. The Vulcan uh, it's an air freshener. It's vanilla scented, which is interesting to say the least. That they would go with vanilla, but I'm not gonna. But this, this is very interesting. This is the Batman multi tool. It's a bottle opener 
keychain, but I don't see how that is a tool. You can hold other tools on it, I guess. Down here, this is a crosshead screwdriver. This is a flathead screwdriver, and the rest of it is to stab and kill people with. That's interesting. It's hefty. I mean, because it's all metal, but it's interesting, to say the least. It would be cool to carry it around, but I think other airport security deem this a hazard, to say the least. Here, the pin. Loot Crate July 2015 Heroes 2. And it has a shot of the Batman in Gotham City, which is really cool. This one, the big book. The League of Regrettable, Regrettable Superheroes, the Loot Crate Edition by John Morris. Ah, uh, so these are all of the superheroes that, like, DC, Marvel, Image, other people have created that really didn't make it into the mainstream. US-1, the Sentinels, Dracula, I remember that, when Dracula was a superhero, oh, that was really interesting, the Civil, oh, they split into age, so where each part of the War Nurse, Justin Wright, the Dynamite Thor, the Bouncer, this is interesting, like, all the obscure superheroes you would never know about. Brawlhalla. It's a cool artwork. White Fang Nash. So this is a free-to-play platform brawler game. Ever expanded cast. And so this is a code for this guy right here on Steam. That's pretty cool. New character to go along with it. And here. Let's show you the rest of the loot crate. The bottom, it has more uh, Joker-like graffiti as you would see in other crates. More apartment style. Oh, apartment complex. Uh, 1337. Internet lingo. And here's Joker and Harley. It's really interesting. Various other characters. And this says, flip me inside out. So it'd be more coverage. So here's the Loot Crate magazine, and it's cool. They changed the logo, so it's uh, Link, Wonder Woman, Spock, and Batman. Heroes 2, July 2015. So, Holy Here We Go Again from Robin it is probably an actual quote. Loot Crate description. This is from the previous crate. Crate was Unite. And then the history of Wonder Woman and Batman. It's interesting. It's very style of the very 90s, late 80s, 90s style. Where they drew it hyper realistic. So this is July's Mega Crate. Which is really awesome. All the Mega Crates are really awesome. So here's the Q&A with John Slepp, he, if you don't know him, he is the guy who made the documentary of The Death of Superman Lives, and it's the movie that has Nicolas Cage as uh, Superman, obviously, and then it was supposed to be directed by Tim Burton, but it got scrapped and replaced by another film. So this is the documentary about how it came to be and how it got discarded. They even released a 15 minute preview of it as well. So you should check that out if you haven't yet. Some more interview. A quote from him. I believe Superman Lives would have been a smash hit. And there's also, in regards to this, there's also an upcoming documentary about the cancelled Justice League film way way back in like the early 2000s I think it's also would have been interesting as well here's PAX 
it's coming end of August. Oh, come say hi and check the PAX exclusive crate. This is cool. Here's the Fallout 4 limited edition crate. That's cool. I should tell my friend about this. Maybe you will find that awesome. Here's the Wonder Woman poster. The sweatband for Legend of Zelda. Oh, it's Terry Cloth. That's what it is. The Batman multi tool keychain. The exclusive version or er, cover version of the book. The loot crate. You see anything here at loot crate stuff? The brawler stuff. Here is two button. The Star Trek uh, auto freshener. It's cool. As always, Team Loot Crate loves us, and we love Loot Crate and everyone here. So, join me next time when I review next month's Loot Crate, and hmm, let's see how I put this back in. Hmm? Hmm. Now I put myself in a pickle, haven't I? I can like barely squeeze this pack in. I will figure something out. It's too tall for this side. Let's see. That in first. Hmm. Oh, well, I find out how to put this back in. Uh, join me next month for August Loot Crate, and the month after that for the bi-monthly or biannual, whatever it is, the next uh, box for the Marvel Collector's Core. So, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.